So two days ago, I put a dot of glow germ fluorescent dye on top of the alcohol gel dispenser to simulate a person carrying COVID-19 on their hands and contaminating the top of the alcohol dispenser. Uh, COVID-19 is spread by droplets and sticks onto the hands and can stay viable on a shiny surface like this, which we naturally assume is clean and can stay viable for at least two weeks. There's some evidence that has been a case where it's been viable for as long as nearly a month. So here we are after two days. Do you think there's any of the um, virus there? I've been using this alcohol gel dispenser regularly myself, uh, touching the top of it with an elbow. So let's see. There it is, all fluorescing in the ultraviolet light. And you can even see where I touched the gel dispenser with my fingers. So if I had been carrying COVID-19 on my hands, it would still be there two days later, contaminating everybody's hands who touched it with their hands. Now people have said that's all right because they're going to use the alcohol gel to clean the COVID off the hands. Well, that's all right, possibly if you use the alcohol gel properly for which you need a big dollop of alcohol gel and you need to follow the full procedure for 30 seconds and that will then kill the COVID-19. In my audit that I did a couple of weeks ago, 51 out of 64 people wouldn't have carried on for the full 30 seconds unless I'd had the timer to show them how to do it. And very few of the staff used the full procedures of rubbing the palms together, hands over the back of the hands, uh, the full procedures on the posters um, and often they're using inadequate quantity of alcohol gel and the only people who used the elbow to activate the plunger were um, theatre staff and the theatre staff really know how to wash their hands and we should be thinking of hand washing now as exactly the same amount of hand washing and cleansing that would be used for starting to wash your hands for a theatre operation. Um, and also stress that alcohol gel does not inactivate C. diff spores. And if we've got Clostridium difficile around in the hospital, which is quite likely because we're using more antibiotics for secondary bacterial infections on top of the COVID-19, you would have a contamination with Clostridium difficile on your hands. And Clostridium difficile can only be eradicated by thorough washing of the hands with soap and water. Washing the hands with soap and water also, what kills COVID-19 quicker than alcohol gel, 20 seconds as opposed to 30 seconds. Also, much easier to cover all of your hands and forearms with a big bubbly lather of soap and water than it is to cover them properly with alcohol gel.